What's up everybody? So today I'm going to tell you about the Black Diamond Distance Carbon Z trekking poles. So uh, right off the bat, I purchased these with my own money. These were not provided by Black Diamond. So uh, as always, even if some a company does provide them to me, their thoughts are my own. So uh, anyway, we'll get right to it. The Black Diamond poles, these are the 130 centimeter the Distance Carbon Z, they are carbon fiber, it's 100% carbon fiber shaft, uh, incredibly lightweight, 315 grams in this size, 130 centimeters, uh, I think that's around 11 and a half ounces, super lightweight, I mean literally it's about, it's about the same weight as this shoe, right here, this is an old Hoka Challenger. I love these poles, I've used them on the, uh, let's see, I use them at the, oh well, this, this race, the LC Enduro, uh, the one there that I, uh, I was able to win, yay! Uh, and then I also used them at the Smoky Challenge Adventure Run. Maybe good, okay. Uh, and I used them at the No Business 100. <laughs> nice job, Steven! Uh, I've used them in, in numerous races, plenty of training runs. Uh, they're just fantastic. So this 130 centimeter size folds up to about 17 inches and fully extended it's about 51 inches. It's three parts like this. You just pull down and it snaps in. Well, now it snaps in. <laughs> they are adjustable because over time this does either tighten or loosen. Uh, so inside there's a little mechanism you spin and it kind of loosens or tightens the tension. Uh, to collapse them, there's a button here. Push that shove it down inside, then you can pull these other pieces out like this. And you can stow them right in the vest. I've got the uh, Ultimate Direction Mountain Vest 5.0 and they fit perfectly on the side. Uh, they also fit on the 4.0, I have that one also. Uh, and they fit in numerous vests very easily. So really easy to carry. And when you're carrying them, they're very lightweight. The only thing that I would recommend is when carrying, this little basket on the end, uh, make sure it's pointing out because it will kind of rub your rib cage a little bit uh, if you're thin like me, and that'll get annoying after a while. So another another pro tip, if you're going to be using these in a, an extended race or adventure run, I highly recommend go to Walmart somewhere and pick up the five five to seven dollar um, like weightlifting gloves. They're like the half fingers, you know, your fingers are cut off basically in the glove. Uh, but they've got a little extra padding in the, the palm there. Uh, wear those because when you go over like that six, seven hour range with these, your hands really do start to get uh, maybe some hot spots. Uh, but wearing, wearing those gloves, I did that on the Smoky Challenge Adventure Run and at no business had no issues, no hot spots or anything like that. So definitely go check those out. The only issue I've ever had with the Black Diamond uh, Distance Carbon Z pole was uh, during my 100 mile training week, I was at Frozen Head for the second day in a row doing the Barkley Challenge Loop, uh, and I was letting my wife use the poles. And then nothing that she did wrong whatsoever. She went to put the pole down, and this little mechanism right here, this little uh, aluminum looking piece, uh, shoved up inside the shaft. So it was no longer safe to use because it, wasn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't stay put. Uh, so it broke, essentially. Doesn't help that one of my black diamond poles broke. Way to go, Black Diamond. Uh, I contacted Black Diamond. They essentially told me to rough it up with some sandpaper and apply this epoxy and glue it back together. I told them I don't have that epoxy or this whatever kind of sandpaper needed to do that. Um, no, <laughs> you know, these things are under a year old. You guys need to fix these. And uh, to their credit, they did eventually end up fixing them for me. They, I sent them back into them with a the shipping label they provided. And then they repaired them, sent them back to me. Uh, and then now they're essentially, I wouldn't say good as new, but they're, I've used them, I used them at the No Business since that, uh, and they were fine, I have no issues, so. I've heard of other people having similar issues with the Black Diamond where this little piece is shoved up inside uh, or shafts just breaking. You know, if you are in a real technical area, maybe that, that uh, basket gets shoved down in between two rocks and gets stuck, uh, and maybe it might break, but that's going to happen to any pole, basically. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for some trekking poles, highly recommend these. Like I said, they're so lightweight. They are expensive. Right now on Amazon, you can get them for around, I think, like 162, 163 bucks. Uh, there is a link in the description down below if you want to take a look at them. 
Uh, it is an affiliate link, so it costs you nothing, but it's just a way you can support the channel. If you do purchase those, I get a small fee, essentially, or a small commission, basically. But it costs you nothing. Definitely recommend them. You know, you can buy other poles out there. You can buy aluminum poles. There's other poles. These are probably the lightest out there, some of the lightest ones out there. Uh, and then when you're going to be on the trail for a long time, that weight adds up. So think about what you're going to buy, what you're going to use a lot, and, you know, it might be worth to invest in a, a good pair. So... That's my two cents. And just real quick too, basically the way you use these, uh, you know, you've got this little strap, you put your hand up through the strap like this, and then you come down on it just like that. So you don't want to put your hand through it like this and wrap it around or uh, just grab it like this, but the design is with this strap, you go up, down and grab it, and it's supposed to take some of the pressure directly off the handle of the shaft, put some on your wrist, and you just kind of loosely hold it in your hand as you're going up and down. So uh, play with it yourself, you know, see what works well for you guys. There's some other methods out there as well. If you YouTube it, you'll see other techniques to use trekking poles. Well, if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you could give a thumbs up. That would really help the video out. And if you haven't already, if you would consider clicking the subscribe button down below, that really helps my channel continue to grow. It really helps me out. I would appreciate it. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you want to take a look at the no business video where I use these, you can see that. Uh, it's going to be over on this side of the screen. You can take a look at that. And over on this side are some gear review videos you can take a look at where I've reviewed other products. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.